tiny yellow machine.
tiny yellow machine. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second ever Playdate Community Direct. I'm so happy to be doing this again, and I have been blown away by the results that we received. We have over 40 plus trailers to show today, and to be honest, I did not expect that coming around. Maybe I will curate the next Direct, but to be honest, I think that I really like our eclectic mix that we are getting from the developers. I think that's what makes this community so special. We have developers big and small, some developers creating their first game ever, some developers that are very, very experienced in creating their fourth, fifth game. It's all coming together in this one Direct, and again, I love that about this community. On top of that, the same thing goes with making trailers. It's so great to see some people creating their first trailer ever, their second, some are experienced video editors, some are not, but all in all, the creativity that comes from this eclectic mix, again, I just, I love it, and I hope you all enjoy it too. The next Direct will be in January. Uh, submissions will be uh in the description below the submission link and also let me know do you think i should start curating this or do you also love the massive amount of trailers we have uh you know i don't know what i would do if we had 50 plus but i think 40 30 is a good number but maybe i'm all, maybe i'm wrong let me know how you're feeling during this maybe 20 is the right number it's up to you guys it's your community I'm just happy to be here and let's keep the trailers going. I'll see you again in halftime with a nice cameo from Panic. Hello there, my name is Remy and I'm the developer of Playorama, a cranky video player for the Playdate. Last Community Direct, I kept thinking, wouldn't it be cool to watch all these trailers on the Playdate itself? Well, in partnership with Tiny Yellow Machine, I'm super pleased to announce the Playorama Community Direct Bundle number one with all the trailers from this very presentation. Download it from free on each.io right after this direct and watch all the trailers directly on your playdate. Plus, Playorama now has its very own website with a collection of free public domain videos to download for your playdate, a video encoder and some other fun surprises coming along. Check it out at playorama.app. Thanks for listening and see you there.
Enjoy one of the most popular games of the 16th century with up to nine friends, human or otherwise. The Game of the Goose, coming soon to Playdate. like video games? I know you do, but I also know that you hate spending $70 on overly complicated games. So I have come up with the perfect solution to this problem. I made a game so simple, so elegant, which I'm sure you will enjoy. 
Enjoyment not guaranteed. Instead of being $70, my game is only 5 That's a 600% decrease. If my math is correct, that's a heck of a deal. My game includes driving, drama, story, settings, and an 8 hour mode so you will never get bored. I sure do love the smell of ethanol, and you will too. With heavy trucking, out now on itch. Is that good? Did I do it right? Alright. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Name something Playdate related that you need. Nope, it's not a watch date. A dog. <laughs> Patience, friend, it's coming soon. Well, how about a calendar? Featuring artworks from across the Playdate community, with 50% of the total proceeds going to charity. Get yours today!
Okay, everybody, it is halftime. Uh, really fast, run and get some more popcorn, do whatever you want. Round two is coming up, but as usual, we have a wonderful cameo from Panic. And you know, as tradition calls for, 
Let's check in with the Santos sisters as well to see how they're doing. If you're not familiar with the Santos sisters, uh, it is a comic book that has really worked its way into Playdate culture. Uh, developers are posting ads in the comic for their up upcoming games. I'll put a link in the description to see how this story started. So if you're new to the Playdate community, you should definitely check it out. But um, for now, let's check in with Krista from Panic. Hey, Andrew. Hey, everyone. So great to be back with you all. I'm Krista from Panic, and we all just got back from PAX West last month, where we were super excited to talk to Playdate fans in real life and show off some great new games that are in the works. People were so excited to get a sneak peek at Mars After Midnight, the gorgeous new game from Lucas Pope, and everyone loved getting their hands on Tau, a tubular shoot 'em up action game played entirely with the crank. Tau actually comes out next week on Catalog, and thanks to a recent Catalog update, you can now wishlist it, along with Mars After Midnight and a bunch of other amazing games that are coming out soon, so you can get notified when they're available. We've also added search and categories to Catalog on both the on-device app and on the website, so it's easier than ever to find great new games you might not already know about. And of course, Catalog isn't the only place to find games. There are a ton on itch.io, and you can sideload Playdate games from anywhere. And if you haven't listened to the Playdate podcast yet, now is a great time to catch up. I have some new episodes in the works, so keep an eye on the feed. You can find it at podcast.play.date or pretty much wherever you listen to podcasts. This is what it looks like. Thanks so much as always for just being a part of this community. And Andrew, thank you again for having me on the direct. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much, Krista. Thank you again for being here. We're so excited to have more podcasts from you and it's great to get updates from Panic. So thank you again for being involved. We really love it and we really appreciate it. Now for all of you new and old Playdate fans, let's see what the Santo sisters are doing. This Halloween, the citizens of Las Brisas do not know it yet. But terror is lurking around the corner. Luckily, the Santos sisters and their friends, Cassie and Vlad from the comic book series Hackslash, Mercy Sparks, and the Gut Ghost, must band together to fight off the forces of darkness and save the day. But can they survive the ultimate Halloween horror? The Santos sisters and friends Halloween special is 48 pages of blood-curdling comics full of tricks and treats that will have you howling as you turn each page. Get your copy today at your local comic shop or at floatingworldcomics.com. <laughs> Sometimes, you feel it. Sometimes you gotta bounce, gotta bounce, gotta bounce, gotta bounce. Wasn't this supposed to be a gameplay trailer?
watched golf in a tank. I guess you could call it tank golf. Blast your ball around 18 holes of golf in what is possibly the first color playdate game, but only when played in the simulator. But hey, rotate and fire, pick up the reward, and do it all over again. 18 times. It's easy to score, but can you figure out how to score high? If you want a quick game, you can select easy mode to get larger holes in a larger ball. If you want a tougher time, you can select hard mode to add gusts of wind that will affect the path of your ball. The graphics in this game are drawn using only lines, shapes, and fills. No bitmaps. Ball and Panzer Golf, not a final name, by Matt Sefton and Kata K68K. K. Shark, Shark Turtle is a version of the popular game Same Game. The original game of this type was called Chain Shot and is from 1985, which makes it as old as Tetris. It's similarly pure in concept, but it is a more laid back experience as there is no time limit. You can make a move whenever you feel like it. Remove groups of blocks and try to clear the screen. Keep going and get a high score. You can change the number of different types of blocks, three, four, five, and the size of the play field. As well as random layouts, you can also play a fixed daily layout. A great pick up and play game for when you have a few moments. Shark Turtle by Matt Sefton. Thoru Yamamoto's Molehole by Matt Sefton and Thoru Yamamoto. The artwork for this one was drawn on an original Macintosh back in the early 1990s by Japanese artist Thoru Yamamoto. It's an exploration game along the same lines as Myst. What will you find down the molehole? Lots of surprises await. Swing your thing and collect the stars. Collect them quickly and with style to keep your score multiplier going and reach those high scores. This is one game you'll not want to put down. The game tracks play stats, including some secret hidden stats. The more you play, the more skilled you become, and on your way you'll figure out many hidden scoring techniques. The graphics in this game are drawn using only lines, shapes, and fills, no bitmaps, and the audio and music use the Playdate SDK's built-in synthesizer so there are no mp3s either. Look forward to Yoyozo by Matt Sefton. Hello, an important message for all Playdate developers. The journey to creating a new game is a lonely road, and you need to stay strong and focused all the way to the finish. Distractions, are your worst enemy. Resist! Please, I implore you! When we last left Playdate developers Mouflon Cloud and Ginger Beardman, they were focusing on their current projects with intensity and passion. They were not getting distracted by prospects of making something small, cute projects, e easy to pull off in an evening or, or, or two. Oh no. They failed. It gives me great pleasure to announce a new, quick, very quick I hope, side project. A collaboration between Mufon Cloud and Ginger Beardman. An exciting new... port. A, a port? Of, of a 30-year-old Windows game. Well, devs never change, though there is a bright side in there. Kai is, and always was, a charity wear. Instead of paying for a DLC or a loot box, the game already contains a lot of levels for a sweet price of a donation to a children's charity of your choice. 
send a donation, and join other Kai players across centuries. But you're wondering, what has that to do with productivity? Well, that's a good question. started to utilize this factory. 
ways to build robots to compete with one another. As popularity grew, fame and fortune became available to the best robots and their creators. Do you have what it takes to build the ultimate robot league? Thank you. 
Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate all of developers contributing, all of you in chat, all of you watching this on YouTube. Uh, I love this community, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's keep it going. Welcome group five, welcome future Playdate owners. We're so excited to have you. And please, if you wanna be a part of these next directs, check out the form below in the description. The next direct will probably be around January. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next one.